Hello and welcome. So, in this video we will see how the communication between SQL and Python is done, then we will see the parameters and the result, and finally we will see the input and output data types. And the communication. Well, we have our SQL code and we have our Python code. They are separated worlds, okay? They are not connected. And we know that SQL will call Python. Is not the reverse thing, okay? Also, SQL is the guy that is very, very, very good getting data from the database. And Python is the guy that is very, very, very good processing data or doing some data transformation or something like that, okay? So, we guess that SQL will send information to Python, okay, and Python will give a response. If you saw the previous video, the Hello World, you saw this input data 1 and inside the Python input data set. This input data 1 has a query, select all from files. So, we guess that the input is made with an input data parameter that accepts any SQL query, like this input data 1. Knowing that we have the input underscore data underscore one in SQL and the link in Python is input data set. Okay. Also, as you can guess, the output data set will be the output. Okay. SQL doesn't have here nothing like output underscore data underscore one. Doesn't have that. One thing here is that this input data set and output data set, they are very big. It would be cool if we could change these names. Here in Management Studio, and the first thing that we must never forget is in the services having the SQL server running, of course, and the launchpad, okay? Never forget these because these will not work, okay? Here the script is the output is equals to the input. So, what comes in goes out. And what comes in is the select of the ID and the name from the files. Okay? And now we want to change the name of these two variables of Python. So, we go here and we add these. At input data one name is equals to an IDN, for example. And at output data one name is equals to an ODN. Now we can go here and change the names. ODN is equals to IDN. Okay, if we run these, we got this result. And save the result. Well, we don't have here a output data one. Imagining that you are new to SQL, how can we save the information here, okay, from here? We can create, since we are returning a ID and a name, we can create a table, a table like this one, create table pi result with an ID that is an integer and it is not null, and also it has a name that is a string, a varchar with 50 characters, and it is not null, okay? So, we just create this and we select the table is empty, okay? Now, we can go here again and right before the execution of the store procedure, we can say insert into pi result. Okay, and now we can execute this and we can select again our new table. And our new table have the ID and the name. And about the result? Well, it comes with no column name. If we saw, we have two columns, but those columns have no column name. So, we can specify a name for returned columns by adding with result sets, okay, and it is a comma separated list of columns and their data types. And again, it is very, very easy. We go here and we say with result sets. We open, open, and we say that ID is an integer, is not null. Also, we say that we have a name that is a var char 50 chars, we close and we close again. Now we can select these and now we have here names in our columns. 
And the last part, the input and output data types. Well, select passes a data frame to Python. This data frame relies on pandas package. Okay? The output also needs to be a pandas data frame object. So let's do here something very easy, very simple, just to show you the pandas. And first we need to import pandas as pd, and we will say that the output is equals to, let's say, output data name is equals to input data name dot, let's drop the first column, and idn dot columns, and we say that is the column 0, at index 0, and the axis is equals to 1, is the columns. Okay, now let's execute this again. Before executing, we have here two columns, okay? So, we execute this. We get an error because our with result sets is expecting two columns. So, we must comment this and let's execute this again. Let's put this a little more smaller and execute. And now we have just one column. This is the end. Don't forget that you can download the source code, the link is in the description of this video. Also give it a like please, and as always thank you for watching.